Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Wizardry Workshop. In this video, we're going to be opening up the Wizarding Trunks Potions box. The packaging is completely different than their usual box. Full color design all the way on all the different edges, and it's made to look like a trunk. I designed this box for them, and I think it turned out pretty good. I This is the first time I've seen it in person, and it looks great. The top says the Wizarding Trunk Presents, and it has a new little owlery crest that I made right here. The front looks like the front of a trunk. It says Fragile Magical Delivery. We've got a little Wittershin sticker here. Yeah, just a bunch of different things you can find on the box, little Easter eggs and designs and stuff like that. Not only did I design their box redesign, but I have quite a few exclusive designs that I did for them in this box, so let's get it open. And right on top, we see a t-shirt. And this shirt, I did design. So let's take a look at it. I got the, I actually got the side that's uh, a better, <laughs> I guess, like a bigger design. So this is the back of the shirt. And then the front of it has this little design here. It says Potions Club. Um, this shirt is pretty soft. Let's get it on, see how it fits. There we go. It's pretty soft and it feels pretty nice. I like this shirt a lot. The main design is on the back. You guys have already seen it. And then we've got this design right here on the front. I mean, it's a good shirt. It feels, it feels nice. Um, yeah. Let's see what else we have inside. We're gonna go for this pin first. We'll take it out of the plastic so we can see it without the glare. The Wizarding Trunk exclusive, and I did design the backing for this too. And then we've got the uh, Living Death potion right here. So it's kind of like the draft of Living Death. That's a really cool potion. I like this design quite a bit. Next, we've got this key right here. Get it out of the plastic. It's got like the Felix Felicis down here. Um, and it says PS up there. And that is for a potions storeroom, I believe. It's, a, it's actually a really cool design. It's totally flat and undesigned on the other side. Um, and it's, too, it's kind of too, li too light to be a paperweight. The design of it's really cool, but the build of it doesn't really stand up to the, their other keys. I don't hate it. I like it. I just wish it had at least had both sides. All right, let's dive in for something else. Ah, a tea light, we'll set that aside. And then we've got this. This is Armadillo Bile Orange Blossom Squeezable Wax Melt. I did design the label for this, so here if you wanna take a look at what that label looks like. I mean, the rest of it, it's just in a plastic bottle. And that goes with something which we're gonna to get to in just a minute. But first, let's do this other pin. It says the Wizarding Trunk exclusive. And it is the Potions Master, another one of their portrait pins. This one's really dark, um, kind of hard to see the details because of how dark it is. But in person, you can see it a lot better than in the camera. And I love the, these uh, portrait pins that they've been doing. I need to find somewhere to put them. What I really want to do is convert them all into magnets and put them on like my refrigerator or something. That would be so cool. Let's go for this. So this is gonna be our first little potion here. It is the Calming Draft. This is actually like a bath thing you can put in, in, the, in your bath water. And it's got a bunch of things in there that smell good. I designed the label on this one and it is a product of Alchemy for the Skin. Let's uh, go for this. I designed this box, it is Bone Regen from Galley Pots Apothecary, and that is a new shop for magical remedies and healing. So it's kind of like a medicinal healing shop, but they specialize in potions and things that, magical things that help you heal. Um, so we've got the ingredients list right here. Um, yeah, I'll let you guys take a look at this box design that I did. I like to design the boxes in a way where people don't just toss them out. Not only is that wasteful, but it's not very fun just to get a bunch of plain boxes. So I like to do these really cool designs because you can use them, you can put them on your shelf for display, or you can just like 
put things in them and use them as like little storage boxes or things like that and your storage area can still look cool. So let's open this up. Ooh, there we go. A little difficult to get in there. Styrofoam, I wish we didn't have to use styrofoam. It's not good, not good for the environment. And inside we have this little bottle of bone regen. It doesn't open or anything. Um, it's just a, a resin kind of display piece. But yeah, it's bone regen. The paint job looks great, um, looks really cool. I don't know how I feel about this cork inside of his head though. It looks like a little top hat and I cannot unsee that. Really, I think uh, it might have been a better design choice to just not have that cork there and the head would be the cork or the uh, screw top or something. Either way, I mean, it looks cool. I don't dislike it. I just can't unsee that little top hat. Or like, I don't know, maybe like a little straw quartet hat, I guess is what it <laughs> looks a little bit more like. Anyways, yeah, that's cool. I like it and I will display it on my potion shelf. Well, let's go in for the next thing that has a box that is designed. Again, I did the box on this. I did all the custom packaging for this box, which includes the box itself. So this is Brass Scales from Warwick's Premium Potioneer Equipment. I came up with this new shop, Warwick's, and it's like a nod to Warwick Davis, who played Flitwick, um, he played a, a Gringotts bank teller, and he played Grip Hook in Harry Potter. And he is the star of one of my very favorite movies growing up, Willow. If you haven't seen Willow, You've got to watch it. It's so good. And they're about to do a new series on Disney Plus. It's like a sequel series to Willow. I'm sorry, this is a Harry Potter video, but Willow, watch it. So let's take out this uh, brass scale. Ooh, that box is hard. I don't want to rip it. Oh man. Oh, that was really difficult to open without ripping. But here we go. This is actually a full brass scale that you can put together. A vintage wood base with gold. I really like the color scheme there. We also had a little bag with some weights in there and the weights fit in here. We've got a 10, a five, a one, and two twos. Unfortunately, the twos don't actually fit in there for me. They just, they, they're a little too wide to go in those holes so they don't fit, which that's disappointing. I will just set them in there the best I can. And then this, piece screws in right here on top and here is the actual scale part so this will hang right there and there we have these really cool scales that's so cool so if I take a two and I put it there and then I take another two and I put it there it yeah so it works it's a it's a actually actual working scale um, yeah for scaling your potion ingredients. We'll go for another printed box. I did design this box as well. It is Black Lacewing Flies from Pure Blood Apothecary. That is a potion ingredient for you to use in your brews and concoctions. And on the back, it says only the purest of potions from Pure Blood Apothecary. And yeah, it's a box. You can hear them rattling around in there. There are little flies inside. So let's get this open. That is really not easy. I, I mean, the bottom is almost completely flush with the top, so it's really hard to get open. I can't get my finger in there or anything to open this up. I just noticed the bottom is upside down. I mean, it's no big deal as, lo as long as I can get this open and fix it, but that's kind of funny. I'm actually going to need to use a guitar pick to open this thing up. But anything like that size would work if you needed to. There we go. You can't see them because the inside of the box is black too, but oops. Inside we have a bunch of little cycloptic freak flies. These are going to be actually really cool. Like for Halloween decorations and stuff. So good timing. All right, now we're getting into some of the boxes that are just uh, complete mysteries. All right, I know this box is our very own Potions DIY project. So inside the package, we get a bottle, 
We also get a potion label. I designed this potion label for Gilly Tonic. A small vial with some green liquid inside. And then this burlap bag with your Gilly Weed and some stones in there. There are instructions that go along with it. So let's go ahead and check out what's in this box first. And then we'll get into the prints and stuff. I already know what this is. More styrofoam, unfortunately. It's like a little uh, ceramic cauldron, very shiny ceramic cauldron. And then we also got this to hang the cauldron on. So that's already a pretty cool display piece. But remember, we had that little tea light. So the tea light goes underneath. And if you light this, it will um, heat up whatever's inside. And if you haven't guessed yet, that's where this squeezable wax melt goes. It goes right inside there and it helps things smell like orange blossom. Now we're gonna get into the prints. So first we have a page. Well, actually, no, this is the cheat sheet. This is the page. Um, the cheat sheet has the directions for the Gilly Tonic on this side. So we'll set that aside for now. And we've got this potions page, the preparation of the Wolfsbane potion. It is not for your creatures book, um, magical creatures from A to Z, like we usually get. This is actually for a potions book, perfect potions. So you might see some more of these in the future. But we've got the Wolfsbane potion. It says what it does, all the ingredients, and how to prepare it. This is something that I did design. Next, we have another print. This is basically the view of uh, your potions class table. If, as if you were like in class. If you look around, you'll see a bunch of different things. There's a potions book open and there's ingredients and different tools and things. And that brings us to the preparation of the Gilly Tonic and our cheat sheet on the other side. I've decided to separate my preparation of the Gilly Tonic from this video just because it, I don't want the video to be like extremely long. I'll be following these directions and making my Gilly Tonic in a different video posting right around the same time as this one. Here is the Gilly Tonic instructions if you'd like to pause and read them yourself. I think this turned out looking really good. And if you have the means of adding a wax stamp to the top, I suggest doing that because that just adds magic to the bottle. That is everything in the box. However, let's go ahead and go over the cheat sheet to give credit where credit is due. So here is what the cheat sheet design looks like. This is another thing that, like I said, I did design. I designed a whole bunch of stuff for this box and it was really fun to do. The potions storeroom key was designed by JP Mistlecrow. The potions class print is a design by Queen Mab. The living death pin was designed by JP Mistlecrow. It doesn't say who designed this portrait pin, but if I can, uh, Get that info, I'll put it in the description box. And now it's time for me to pick my favorites. I'm not gonna pick anything that I had a hand in designing. I'm only gonna pick things that I had nothing to do with. I don't really like picking least favorites because there's an artist behind each and every one of these and it's kind of like singling them out and saying, I didn't like your item. <laughs> I don't know, I don't wanna do that. But luckily, I didn't dislike anything in this box. So coming in at number three being my least favorite of my three favorites, I guess, is the brass scale. I love this thing, but I'm really disappointed that um, my weights don't fit in there. It would have taken probably the number one spot had everything been perfect. Coming in at number two, the living death pin. I think this design is so cool. And that's saying something because I never ever pick the pins as being my favorites. And coming in at number one is the Cauldron Wax Warmer. This is just such a cool thing to have, and it's gonna look great on any shelf that you wanna display it on. It's just really cool. Also a really cool Halloween decoration if you just wanna get it out for Halloween time. And yeah, that brings us to the end. If you have made it all the way to the end here with me, you're a Wizard Harry. Give the video a thumbs up down below if you did like it, and subscribe if you're not already. Be sure to check out my Gilly Tonic DIY if you want to see how I put this all together and did the wax seal. Let me know what your favorites were. Do you agree with me on mine, or were there other things that you picked that I can't pick because I had a hand in designing them? Just let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.